The problem is with uh, the invasive plants who gain a foothold, um, they outcompete the native plants for resources like sunlight, moisture in the soil, and space. Uh, they grow faster than our native plants and they generally are, are good pioneers. So when you have a disturbed habitat, uh, the invasive species come in and outcompete the natives. As invasive plants take over, the forest changes. The new fast-growing trees are not as strong as the native hardwoods they replace. And that also affects the insects, the larger animals, and the migratory birds that are nourished and protected in our native southern forests. The entire northern Gulf Coast is a, a critical stopover habitat for migratory birds. Millions of, of birds uh, migrate across the Gulf of Mexico uh, every fall down into the tropics, into Mexico, Central America, some of them all the way into South America. Uh, and they return in the spring. Migratory birds help spread tallow. They like the seeds um, and they tend to eat them a lot. The seeds tend not to have very much nutritional value. So it may be that what will be seen is that birds fill up on tallow before, on this side of the Gulf before they cross in the fall and they lack the reserves and the food supply then to make it all the way across the Gulf. You may see that eventually we see fewer birds because they're declining more because of the impact of this poor nutritional food source. At the height of spring migration across the Gulf, uh, as many as 20 million birds can cross the Gulf in one day. Uh, that's based on, on studies with radar and uh, uh, other, other methods of detecting the birds. So when they get here, especially in the spring, uh, if they encounter adverse weather, then they need a place to stop and rest and refuel to get food. And so these coastal forests or these forests that are near the coast are incredibly important. 